Hello there. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how straightforward it is to put Power BI inside your Power Apps. And I'm actually going to do it and show you how you can actually apply filters to your Power BI report. So we are just going to head straight over there and take a look at that right now. I'm starting off in office.com. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Power Apps. If you don't have Power Apps, then you need to obviously get your administrator to give you that license. The way in which we're going to use it is, is in a very straightforward way. Um, so I'm going to click on Power Apps, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple app. I'm not really, you know, I'm not going to go into all the details about where you should put apps and so on. This is an environment. There are lots of environments. I'm just going to use it in. In my uh, I'll put it into this sandbox environment here but you probably may only have one to choose from I'm gonna click on apps then create then I'm gonna do a canvas app from blank then it's gonna offer me whether or not it's a um, whether or not it's a, a tablet or a phone app it's gonna be um, a tablet app and I'm gonna call it uh, power bi embed um, demo uh, and then I'm going to click create on that. So it's just going to provision an empty app for us. And we're going to do this so, so quickly. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert um, or I can hit the plus icon down here and I can do a text input. Uh, so put that onto the screen. I'm going to make it quite big. So drag that across there. Then what I'm going to do is make it a multi line uh, item there. Now I do actually need to get hold of hold of um, hold of a URL that's going to be useful to me. So I'm just going to pop across and get one of those. So I've got my URL, uh, and I'm actually just going to put that onto the default in this text input here. Um, so I'm going to pump up the volume a little bit on there, and just go maybe something like 25, so you guys can see it a little bit more easily. It's actually quite big now, but that, that's okay. It'll, in fact, maybe make that 20. Let's see how that gets. That's a bit better. Um, so that's going to give me a default. Um, uh, and you'll need to refer to the blog post to start to understand about how that works. The next thing that we're going to do, because this is a short and sharp video, is we are going to hit the plus and we're just going to type in power. Uh, there's my Power BI tile and I'm going to drag it onto the screen here. Do bear in mind you can actually uh, get it from the top here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is going to click X on this. I do not want that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make it reasonably big and then go over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the drop down for the tile URL. Now I'm deliberately going to make a mistake on this uh, and I'll tell you what the mistake is in a minute. So what I'm going to do is because this item is called text input one, I'm not going to change any of that. I'm going to make the tile URL to text input one, uh, text input one dot text. That's all I need to do. Now it will start flashing around, but actually there are a few things that aren't quite right in it. Now, first thing I want to do is I know my report section needs to just say report section. I know the names of these um, of the uh, and the different pages. This one needs to say report section. It's a different page. So you have noticed that we've actually got um, at the top here, we have actually got a filter, but the filter is not being applied. And it's just one small trick that you have to do. You need to go on to the property there, all the way up to the top, allow new API, uh, go on to there and turn that to true. And then once you've done that, then the report will then filter down. So you actually, if I go full screen on this, then you'll see that we're actually filtering on documentary and drama. Uh, and if I actually just grab this and get rid of that, then you'll see that it's just going to filter only to documentary. Uh, and in fact, if I, I could actually just remove that filter completely um, and then we would see all of them. Um, but I actually, I'm just going to do uh, just going to pop that back in. Um, and I know that we've got romantic comedy, romantic comedy. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's not actually case sensitive. So if I do uh, in fact, you can see that it's not um, uh, it's case sensitive because it, it worked it out already. So this bit isn't case sensitive, but this bit is. So if I was to do uh, Netflix genre with a lowercase g, I'm not expecting that to work and it doesn't work. So that 
is how to use the Power BI tile in Power Apps. Now, admittedly, you can use dashboards and so on, but the idea with this was just to show you how you can use it and how you can filter down data. Um, so it's kind of cool. Do remember that you can actually add filters in here. So you can put an and, um, and then you kind of put something like uh, uh, Netflix. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the, um, I think it's something like IM, IMDB score, um, and I'll put less than or uh, greater than or equal to, and I'll say eight. I don't know if that's the right way of doing it, by the way, I'm just guessing there. It's obviously not that. Um, but uh, you, you obviously got to, you've got to go onto your Power BI report and make sure you've, um, in fact, it's because I actually think it might have worked. Uh, I'm going to get rid, I'm going uh, to put documentary back in there, documentary, um, and then that might, it does actually work. And in fact, the reason why it didn't work was because there were no romantic comedies with a Netflix IMDB score of greater than uh, and equal to eight. And so this is the top one. Actually, it's not quite the top one here. Uh, let's have a check the top one. It was David Dattenborough's A Life on Earth. And I'm just gonna click on the uh, URL there. And hey, how cool is that? I've just gone to, uh, I can see um, the um, the Netflix uh, thing for, for this particular thing. And actually what I'd be able to start watching it quite amusingly. Um, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hope you liked it, share it, all that, subscribe, all those wonderful things. And I will see you in another video sometime soon.